guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to do another edition of my HP Chats. So in case you don't know, my HP Chats are videos about Harry Potter. Every other month or so, I do a video where I talk about Harry Potter in general, whether that's talking critically about the world or talking about my favorite stuff. I like to talk about Harry Potter, and that's what this video series is about. Now, in general, with my HP Chats, I can sometimes come across as negative, and the reason I think this is is because the things that we love the most and the things that we are the most passionate are sometimes, I think, the things that we hold to the highest standards, which means that we can be critical of those things. I adore Harry Potter. For me, every book is a five-star read and will always be. I have read the series seven times all the way through, and you know, I'm coming in on time for a reread. So today, instead of talking about any specific element of the books or doing a discussion video because of the approaching holiday of Thanksgiving, if you happen to celebrate Thanksgiving, I thought it would be fun to talk about all of the reasons why I'm thankful Harry Potter is in my life. Because this is a time of talking about stuff that we're thankful for, and one of the things I'm thankful for is definitely the Harry Potter series. So, yeah. Let me just get into just a more positive and really happy Harry Potter video for all of the reasons I'm thankful for the series in general. So first of all, you can't see this. I swear I'm wearing a Harry Potter shirt. It's just so far down and you can't get it in there. It's a quote from Hagrid. It's a really pretty shirt. Any I just wanted to make that point. I did I did make a Harry Potter effort. So as far as things I'm really thankful for in the Harry Potter universe, one of the first things I want to talk about is the bond that it's created. I feel like wherever I've gone in my life since I've read the series, I can find someone to talk to about the Harry Potter books. Even if they are not passionate about the series, even if they have only seen the movies, I feel like there is always the possibility of being able to start a conversation about Harry Potter. And I love that that is sort of a community that I feel I can find anywhere. I love that this series has created such a passion that there are so many people who at the drop of a hat want to talk about Harry Potter with you, no matter what you're talking about. Something about that passion just makes me so happy. Another thing I'm thankful for in terms of Harry Potter is even though it has created plenty of disagreements in fandom in general as anything anyone is passionate about is bound to do, I am thankful for the ways that it has made me a more critical and a more detailed reader. These Harry Potter chats have encouraged me so deeply to think more about what I'm reading, to think about how I respond to it, and to question the world, which is something that when I was younger I never would have considered doing. Doing. Plus, I think this critical reading and this detailed reading for a lot of us has created so much funny material to look at. The amount of creative content that has just come out of the Harry Potter series is astounding, and I love it. And speaking in that vein, another thing that I'm so thankful for about Harry Potter is all of the stuff that it has led to the creation of. Whether this is something specific like Star Kid or the Potter Puppet Pals, which are both things that I love and that I will continue to love and I'm so grateful are in my life, but also in general, it created Wizard Rock like a genre of music. It created a theme park. It has inspired so much fan work in terms of fan art. That's so beautiful. Fan fiction, which gave us My Immortal, which I'll admit I'm super, super glad exists. It also gave us conventions. There's a Harry Potter convention. This series has just given us so much. Beyond that, I'm really thankful for all of the fan theories in general, and I want to explain a little bit more Something about Harry Potter has led to people being so engaged in coming up with their own ideas for the story, and I love that level of engagement. So I am thankful for the ways that people have taken Harry Potter and have made it their own. I was going through my Harry Potter tag on Tumblr, just looking for inspiration for all of the things I love about the series, and the number of theories and 
fan fiction and expansions of world that I came across just going through this tag made me so happy all over again. Some of my favorite stuff has come from the idea that Dudley at some point has a magical child. I love so much of the fan work that has come out of that. I love how much passion people have for muggle-born wizards and how they would be incorporated into the world. I love how critical people have gotten about Hogwarts houses and the fact that it has created a whole system of classification for like all fictional characters and for real people. How many of us have never had a conversation where we tried to sort other people into Hogwarts houses? And one of my other favorite things are the AUs, the what would have happened if scenarios. One of my favorite things that I've ever written was what if Neville had been the chosen one and someone wrote just paragraphs and paragraphs about how the series would have gone in detail had Neville been the one to be the chosen one. And like it brought me to tears. There's just so much passion and so much creative stuff that has come from the series that makes me feel connected to the original seven books all over again. Another wonderful thing that I'm thankful for in Harry Potter is the level of depth in the world. Now, this this is just limited to the to the original seven books. That is what I'm talking about in this video. And those original seven books with the creation of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley so much detail all packed into this world to the level that you can go and visit it. One of my favorite memories and a memory I think will stick with me forever is being able to go to the Harry Potter theme park in California. I haven't been to the one in Florida yet, it's gonna happen, but that moment where I walked into Hogsmeade is just one that's going to stay with me forever because the series was so in-depth. I got to do the thing that so many people who read dream about and I felt like I was visiting that actual place. I felt like I was a part of the universe and I feel like that's not something I'm ever gonna get over and I feel like that's a feeling that is never going to be topped. I got to be immersed in a fictional world that I feel genuinely changed my life. Another genuine thing that I'm so thankful for in the Harry Potter series is all of the different types of friendships. When I was trying to make a list of all of the friendships that are present in the book, like I couldn't list them all because there are so many different types and I love every single one. Of course you have the trio. They are like the shining symbol of friendship in the books, but I also love Fred and George's friendship with Harry. I love Harry's friendship with Luna. I love all of the side characters and their own little friendships like Dean and Seamus and the fact that Ginny and Luna are really close friends. I love how full of love the series is, and that's a big theme of the series, of course, love, but the friendships in this book are so strong, and even if you only see these characters for moments, the feelings of their relationships with one another are so impressive, and they make me so happy. So now I want to talk about a few just quick things that I'm going to list off that I'm thankful for. One, Neville Longbottom as a character. What a guy, what a dude, what a man, what a Gryffindor. Number two, the fact that Luna Lovegood did not become a manic pixie dream girl. I think about that daily. I'm so happy that she didn't. She easily could have. Number three, this one specific set photo. Number four, that one scene where Harry says to Snape, there's no need to call me sir, professor. <sighs> number five, Butterbeer. And number six, how much Harry Potter has changed my life. I truly believe that I would not be the person that I am today without Harry Potter. The reading of that series changed my life. It made me invested in the things that I am invested in now. It made me close to the people that I have made friendships with and it will continue to change my life because of how much I love it and how much passion I have poured into it. Of course, it will always remain a part of me as part of my skin, you know, that's on there for good, but it will remain a part of me in the relationships that I've made and the conversations that I've had because of it. And I'm just thankful for that level of impact that this series has had on my life and the lives of so many people that I know. Okay guys, there you go. Those are all of the things that I am thankful for in the Harry Potter series. Not all, there are so many more things. This series in general has so much to be thankful for. Let me know down below what are some of the things from Harry Potter that you're thankful for and also some things that you're thankful for in general. Thanksgiving's coming up again if you're in a place that has Thanksgiving. 
If you are celebrating Thanksgiving, let me know what you're gonna be doing. If you're not, what are you doing Thursday? What's going on in your life? Any of those are free to be commented below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.